Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Father Ted season two, episode two. Think fast, Father Ted. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. Let's do this. <laughs> Only Father Jack can sleep through it. Only Father Jack can sleep through this. Right, Google, come on. You can't sit watching television all night. It's a big waste. Chewing up for the eyes. Uh, no thanks, Ted. <laughs> anyway, I've got these crisps here. Look, Ted, this is what I do. I get a cheese and onion one and a salt and vinegar one and I eat them in the same go. <laughs> that leak is getting worse, Dougal. God! I dang. think we'll have to move himself and put that bucket under it. Right, fair enough, Ted. I'm a happy camper! <laughs> God almighty, that's gonna cost a fortune to fix. Where are we gonna get the money? Think, Dougal, how can we raise some money? Mm. Yes, I know. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Ted. Yes! What's that thinking? Uh, but now wait, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, it is a big step, and uh, where are we going to get the guns? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute now. Actually, I, I might have been thinking about something different. <laughs> you thought we were going to rob a bank, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> well, Drew, this isn't a Bruce Willis film. I was thinking more along the lines of a raffle. What do we have a surprise, though? You've got me there, Ted. I think we can get something. Under the rules of the diocese, we're allowed a raffle prize every couple of years. It's not, Ted. <laughs> Look, we have to move them out of here. Uh -huh. uh, where's the thing? The thing for waking them up. Oh, there it is. Bro, that whole roof about to cave in. God, yeah, that's silly dumb for. That's silly dumb for. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Father! Father, it's only us! Get your feet! Come on, Father, we're gonna to have to move you again! Drink! <laughs> Don't drink that, Father! No! It's freaking water! <laughs> and I've been looking up the records, and the island hasn't been given anything to raffle since those two bags of coal in 1964. <laughs> I think we're entitled to, uh, under the rules of the diocese, Oh, that'd be great. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Yes, thanks again. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. No luck, then. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Lots of luck, Dougal. We're being given a car. A car? That's a what? brilliant prize, Ted. Oh, it's not that unusual. Father Finnegan got one last year. You know him, don't you, Dougal? The dancing priest. Dances for peace. Yeah. Is he still going? Oh, yes, indeed. He danced across America last year. New York to Los Angeles. He was mugged about once every 15 miles. <laughs> Great! We'll have the roof sorted out in no time. Did you hear that, Father? Hey, I'm ready to see what this car is going to be. I don't think it's going to be a good car. I, I think this car is going to be awful. But, but we're going to find it. It might actually be good. We're going to find out. <laughs> Cup of tea, fathers. No, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. What do you think of her? Yeah, guys. Are you sure you won't have a cup? It's a prize in our big raffle. Right, just the drop in your oh, hand. Oh, that's the car. That's not bad. That is not okay. I thought they was going to give me an absolute piece of crap. Guess I was wrong. Mrs. Doyle, I'll take the tray. All right, father. I'll put the kettle on in case you want some more once you get in. <laughs> oh, God, Ted, look at that. There's a dent in the car. What? Just there, Ted. God, how did that happen? It must have been when you hit that fella on the bike. Don't let that anyone do. He was all right anyway. I saw him getting up. Not too bad. Sure can just straighten that out with the tap of a hammer. Uh, have a look in that box over there. They're going to make it so much worse. Just leave it alone. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I just tap it the other way. It's
It's no use, Ted. You'll never get it absolutely right. <laughs> oh, I should have just left it alone. Why didn't they leave? God dang, Ted. You did all this just tapping it? I thought I had it there a while ago, you know. It's looking all right. Like it needs her to keep banging away. You're a perfectionist, Ted, you know. It's not too bad. Let's have another look. No, no, we can't give that away as a prize. Look, Ted, why don't you sleep in it? See how you feel in the morning. Maybe you're right. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus, we're dead! I probably needed that. You did. You did. But, uh, don't ever do it again. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? We could run away. <sighs> no, they just find us again. They always do. All right. All right. <laughs> what about that other fellow that has the car? Uh, the dancing priest? Finnegan. Yes, and it'll be the same type of car and everything. How could we get him to give it to us? Maybe. Maybe we could just get a lend of it. Ah, but when somebody wins it in the raffle, they won't want to give it back. True. True. Now, Dougal, this is going to sound very, very immoral, but uh, stay with me. What if, what if we organised the raffle so that we won it? Then we could bring the car back. Oh! That's actually very smart. I didn't, why did not think of that? I don't know. That's actually a very great idea. Definitely do that. Oh, that'd be terribly wrong, Ted. I don't think we should do that. It wouldn't be cheating, Got really. It would, just, it would just be a case of structuring the raffle in such a way that the return comes to the benefactors rather than the beneficiaries. Mm. There you go. Dougal, seriously, listen. If Bishop Brennan finds out that we wrecked the car, he will kill us. And murder is a terrible, terrible sin, Dougal. <laughs> so, by committing this little sin, We'll actually be saving a bishop's soul. <laughs> Fair enough then, Ted. <laughs> Come on, Father. We're off to see the dancing priest. Oh, my God. <laughs> Off we go. God, look at it. It's the same colour and all. You mind Jack here. I will be mowed. But Ted, I am Ted. Will you join me? What? Be dancer. Oh no, I'm not much of a dancer now. Oh, come on, Ted. Prayer isn't the only way to praise God, you know. And it keeps you fit as well. All right, then. He said something on the phone about taking a loan at a car. Yes, he'd be doing us a great favour. Oh, don't be silly. Just take care of it. Don't give it away in a raffle or something. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, they definitely... The play, uh, Dougal gonna f up the play. I know Dougal. Dougal's too dumb. He's too dumb for this plan. Dougal's gonna mess it up. They're accidentally gonna give it to somebody, and they're gonna be in a bit of a pickle. They're gonna have to bring back the one that they're driving now to this dancing priest, and he gonna be upset. Um, somebody said they saw you on television recently in a documentary. You were in Belfast or something. That wasn't me. That was a younger fella ripped off the idea. Don't like talking about him. <laughs> well, I'd better be heading on. Thanks again. Oh, no problem. Bye, Ted.
No way. Bingo! No look then, Ted. <laughs> oh my god. Dougal, you leave a mark on the window. Are we there yet? Dougal, it's a long drive. We won't be there for a while. Yes, everything's fine. Our father, Ted Killy, saved the day once again. How are you doing back there, father? Ah, shut up! Oh. <laughs> what have you been drinking, father? It's like acid. Here, try this. This will clear you up. Of course. Our car's great, though, Ted. Look. Maybe you should have a rest, Dougal. It's a, it's a long drive. You, you have a little sleep. All right, old Ted. Don't fall asleep, Father Ted. This is Laszlo St. Pierre and the night shift, taking you through until 3 a.m. Cock doo doo doo! Good morning, listeners. This is John God Morgan day. on the John Morgan Morning Show. It's a beautiful day, so. It's that long of a drive? Shit. Yeah, I would have passed. I don't know how to do it. Let's start off with some hotel magic. Oh my god. God, almost drifted off for a moment there. Hey, we're nearly home. Raffi, let's go through it again. I'll fill the hat with a load of tickets all with the same number on them, say 11. 11, two ones. Uh, that's easy to remember, Ted. And then when I'm doing the draw, we'll make sure that you have that number. Right, so we won't have to cheat at all. <laughs> Just say yes, just say yes, Ted. Just say yes. Well, that's actually how we're cheating, Doug. All oh, right. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so let me get this straight. You'll be wearing the hat. No, no, I, I, I won't be wearing any hats. The tickets will be in the hat. Gotcha. But you'll put on the hat to give me the signal. I won't be giving you any signals, Dougal. I just pull out your ticket and you say, that's my number, and come up and collect a prize. There's a prize, Ted! What is it? The car! All right, Jack. Here's the sandwiches for tonight. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to do my test. Uh, what test is that, Mrs. Doyle? Well, I select a sandwich at random and try it. And if it doesn't meet my standards, I put the lot of them in the bin. I knew she was gonna say they fired up to all that too. Right, so are we all sorted? Oh, raring to go, Ted. Who's doing the disco? Father Billy O'Dwyer. The spin master. Great. <laughs> Actually, I can't wait for tonight. I bet I sell a load of tickets. <laughs> I bet I sell more than you do, Ted. Mm. Do you know what this is a bit like? It's a bit like the sting, and I'm Robert Redford and you're Paul Newman. <laughs> like NASA. How do you keep track of it all? Oh, I'm sure it's quite simple, really. <laughs> you see, here we have the two turntables, which I control from the mixing desk here. This switch means you can flip between records if you want to get a bit of an old jam going, you know. Oh, I tell you, I can't wait. What records have you got for us? Records? A bit of the Bee Gees, I suppose. Get them all jumping. <laughs> oh, God. Billy, what's up with you? I forgot the records, dude. What? Have you not got any records? Yeah. Uh, just a second. Hold on a second. I might have one. I might have oh, one out in the yeah. car. Cup of tea, Father. Uh, Mrs. Doyle, how would you like to be the first to buy a raffle ticket? Oh, I'd love to, Father. I haven't taken part in a raffle in donkey's years, and I think I might be in with a great chance today. Shut up, Dougal. <laughs> That's great. How many will you take? Just the one. Ah, huh, all right. I only need one. My lucky number never lets me down. Oh, I see. Which one is that? Eleven. What? Eleven. <laughs> it's always been lucky for me. Um, well, we're out of 11s. I thought I was your first customer. Yes, yes. But, um, 
But I think this one came without 11s. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a number 10 and a number 1, and that'll add up to 11, and you can have them both for 50p. No, I don't think so, Father. I'd better have my money back. Mrs. Doyle, it's for charity, it's for the roof. Sorry, Father. <laughs> now, I wonder where Jack's got to. Oh, he's with Father Purcell. Oh, God, I better go and rescue him. He'll be going mad. No, he's fine. They're just having a chat. But Dougal Purcell's the most boring priest in the world. He was working in Nigeria a few years ago, and he woke up one morning to find that everyone in the village had had enough of him and gone off in a big boat. Sank after a mile, they were eaten by alligators. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we run God. the gas off the electricity and the electricity off the gas yeah. and we save yeah. 200 pounds a year. But then a, a few weeks later, God, I'll never forget it now. We, we got a new boiler. Are you all right there, Father? That's me! Oh, <laughs> I, I was just telling Father Jack there about the thing there last year. How did you fare with yours? I, I don't know what... Because, you know, they have no morals and, and no respect for human life. But what they do have, and no one can deny this now, they have the finest collection of boilers in the world, and I include Canada in that. Actually, <laughs> I just want to borrow Jack for a moment. Thank Christ! <laughs> Father! Uh, Father! God, I remember the first time I saw that boiler now. Beautiful! I don't suppose you'd like to buy a ticket, Father. Oh, did you get them specially, Ted? Because, you know, you can buy them down the shop, you know. Any number you like now. Uh, one. Seven. Oh my God. Twenty. A hundred and twelve. Hundred twelve. All the way up to uh, four hundred nine, I think it is. <laughs> and if you want more, they send off of them, and they send them back in an envelope. Now, you know, a normal kind of thing. Now, rectangular, of uh, four corners. You know, that's the way I like them anyway. Yeah, we did. Yeah, he annoyed me. And, and I ain't there with him in person. I'm just watching him through the screen. He ain't getting on my last nose right now. I'm about, I'm about ready to jump through the TV, through the screen. God damn. The old dang. envelopes. Oh, yes, yeah. No round envelopes for me. No way, hoes. <laughs> Jesus. That was a grand name, wasn't it? He had trouble with the drugs. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Oh no, oh no. Tickets oh, for the no. raffle, anybody? Anybody left now who hasn't bought a ticket, come over here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry about the wait, folks. <laughs> Bit of trouble with the old disco. Uh, luckily, though, I've got a few old pals to do a couple of numbers. Please welcome Father Tiernan, Father Rafter, Father Cafferty, and Father Leonard. Ted, uh, uh, found the record. <laughs> all right, all right. How about a ticket? 50p each or four for a pound? Gambling, Ted. Growing my father and my grandfather. Both of them, Ted, died without a penny to their name. Oh, won't happen to me, though. God, it's just for charity. It's not real gambling. Yeah, all right, then go ahead. Great. How many will you take? 2,000. <laughs> Come on, there, look, I'll, I'll do your check. <laughs> How many will you take? Two thousand. No, I, I can't take it. That, that's too much. I can handle it, Ted. I have a few friends who lend me cash from time to time. No, no, look, you, you keep that. You shouldn't be throwing around that kind of money. Ted, I need another ticket book. This one's run out. Already? How could you have sold out already? Don't ask me, Ted. I can hardly keep a straight face back there. <laughs> what was it, Billy? Two thousand. That's crazy. Got to be kidding me. This man drank that entire kitchen full of alcohol. He's about to crash this car. Of course. Thunderbirds are a go, Ted. Okay, come on. Oh, thank you, Father Billy. <laughs> and now let's get on to the important stuff. The raffle. 
Uh, the last raffle I was at was very interesting because the people who ran the raffle actually won it. So it's not unusual for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the winning number is... Number 11. Oh my God. Number 11. Number 11. If anyone has that number, will they come up on stage? Oh, what's that you say, Father McGuire? You have the winning number. What? Oh, well done. Let's have a big round of applause for our very own Father Dougal McGuire. God almighty, Dougal. What are you doing? Sorry, Ted. I, I was looking at the ticket upside down. <laughs> It don't get no dumber than Father Dougal. It don't get no fuck dumber. It ain't nobody dumber than this man, dog. Nah. He'd still be 11. Still. Oh my God. <laughs> Father Dougal. Anyway, what a fantastic evening we've had. We've raised enough money to repair the roof and we've had a great time. So let me just thank you all now for coming along and ask you to stand for our national anthem. <laughs> Next week. Please, please, one more chance. That's all I ask. Please, please. Oh, thanks very much, Mrs. Dyer. <laughs> For God's sake, have some pity. I'm a priest. Oh, oh they, they, they have you every way, you know. Oh, man. I, I was in the AA there, you know, for a while, and, and, and uh, the insurance was very expensive. I, All I, right. I, I had to crash the car just to get the money back, you know. And, and, and then they had witnesses. I had to crash the car just to get the money back. Who said they'd seen me steer it towards the wall, you know? Th th there was talk of me going to jail for a while. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's yourself. <laughs> what can I do for you, Mrs. Doyle? Terrible news. It's Father Finnegan. He's had a heart attack. No. The doctors warned him to cut it down to 12 hours a day, but he just couldn't stop dancing. Oh, that's terrible news. What's up, Ted? Father Finnegan, he's had a heart attack. No. Are there any more chipsticks? <laughs> Does that mean we can keep the car, Ted? Dougal, that's a terrible thing to say. The man is just... Oh, wait a second, you're right, we can! <laughs> Father? Take off! Hey, Father, where did you get the air freshener? Car! Oh, God. Drive uh -oh. the car! Not the new car. Tell me the truth. Have you been drinking? Yes! <laughs> Tell me from the beginning, where did you drive? Shops! Drink! Corner! Shops! Got out! Truck! A truck! Two trucks! <laughs> Take a look. Maybe there's something we can salvage. Ah, uh, day. It's not that bad, Ted. Yes, God, I thought it'd be much worse than that. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Dude, but how is this not that bad? <laughs> <laughs> it just turned into a two-seater, that's all. It just went from a four-seater to a two-seater. Not too bad. Oh, well, at least you still have the raffle money for the roof. Please, just give me 24 hours. Please. No. <laughs> so because of that low pressure, we'll probably be seeing a lot more rain, at least until July, or possibly until August. <laughs> Almighty, imagine anyone being so dishonest as to steal raffle money from a priest! Well now, the raffle was rigged, Ted. <laughs> I suppose it'll be all right, as long as a tree doesn't fall through the roof or something.
for a moment there, and I thought... Um, this is a piece of advice that my father gave to me. Now, this not only refers to lagging, but all forms of insulation. <laughs> he, he said, uh, don't ever... Uh, no, no, wait, no. It was always, always, always... Rip no, no, it, it was... Uh, never! Ne oh, I forgot. Never mind. What's your favorite humming noise? <laughs> oh, my God. What, what, would it be... Mm. Or would it be... Uh, the first one there, now, that's the sound of a fridge. Uh, the second one, the second one, that's the sound of a man humming. You never hear a woman humming. I, I, I knew a woman once, but she died soon afterwards. I'm not surprised. Uh, now, if you push me to a woman, I'd have to say my favourite colour was uh, grey. No, blue. A soft blue with a hint of grey. No, orange. Orange. That's it, orange, I remember. I, I, I have an extension put on the house now, and I put it on the extension, so the house is in a circle now, you see? That's crazy. He would, he would have annoyed the life out of me. I wouldn't have been able to take you. But that's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.